your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. Are you a leader? Well, I know the answer to that question. You might be thinking to yourself, no, I'm not a leader. You are a leader. There's someone that's looking to you. And they may be looking to you and following your good example, and they say, you know, I want to be more godly. I want to be a better Bible student. I want to be a Bible teacher like them. I want to attend all the services. Or they may be looking at you and saying, you know, if holiness is not a priority for, and, you know, they'll say your name, then I guess it's not that big a deal. The reality is everyone that's listening to this study right now is a leader in one way or another. Now, this week we began a new study entitled Great Passages from the Old Testament. Now, we're going to be looking at Joshua chapter 1. And in Joshua chapter 1, I want you to listen to what God says to Joshua. God talks to Joshua, the great leader of Israel, Moses, is dead. As a matter of fact, we find out in verse 1 and 2 that he's dead. But not only that, he's going to appoint Joshua. And Joshua has been the servant of Moses. Great leaders must first be great servants. Now listen to what God says to Joshua beginning in verse number 6. Be strong and of good courage, for to this people you shall divide as an inheritance the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Now he's going to say it again. Only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left hand that you may prosper wherever you go. Now listen closely. Verse 8. The book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night. Doesn't that sound like Psalm chapter 1? And he goes on and he says, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it, for then you will make your way prosperous. Then you will have good success. And then again in verse 9, have I not commanded you, be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Now, if you're going to be a great leader, you're going to have to be the kind of person, the strong and courageous, and the source of that strength, the source of that courage comes from God's word. Knowing his word, applying his word, and following his word. And that doesn't mean that there aren't going to be times that you're not frightened. There are going to be people out there in the world that don't agree with you, don't like you. And if you, if you don't think that's true, you're not looking around at culture today. But God expects us to be strong and courageous. Join us again.